It's often very important to know how our variables are distributed, particularly our dependent variables. A lot of tests and inferential statistics assume that your dependent variable is normally distributed. That may not always be the case. Now there's some disagreement among statisticians about the importance of that assumption. Many say that if your sample size your n is large enough that you can violate the, the assumption of normality without too many consequences. And that's often true. A lot of these tests are rather robust against that violation. Nonetheless, it's important to know. So how do you go about assessing the distribution of a variable? This all assumes, of course, that the variable you're interested in is an interval measure. The first thing I like to do is actually look at the variable graphically using the histogram. To do so, simply go to Graphics, Histogram. Here I've inserted a variable social trust. It's an interval measure, so data are continuous. I also like to indicate on the graph what a normal distribution would look like. So go ahead and click on this Density Plots tab and add a normal density plot. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And so the gold bars are the actual distribution of our respondents on a social trust index measure. And this curve here is what a normal distribution should look like. So just visually looking at this, you can see that we're departing from a normal distribution. But we can go further than that. Go ahead and close that down. The next thing I like to do is actually get some summary statistics on this. So let's go ahead and sum social trust comma detail. Again, here you have the mean, you have the median, you have the standard deviation, but then we have some statistics for variance and skewness and kurtosis. We can make sense of those statistics a little bit after we run an SK test. This is a more formal test of skewness and kurtosis. It's simply SK test and your variable. The SK test doesn't actually provide us with the statistics for skewness and kurtosis. We get those from the sum social trust comma detail command. But they do provide us with p-values for skewness and kurtosis. And here we can see that in both cases they're less than 0.05. So we can reject the null hypothesis that assumes that the distribution is normal. Since rejecting that, we can embrace the alternative hypothesis that our distribution is skewed and exhibits kurtosis. Here we would say that skewness equals negative 0.92, the p-value less than 0.001, and kurtosis equals 3.59, with a p-value less than 0.001. Both of these tested jointly have a p-value less than 0.001. Hence, the distribution is not normal. The skewness, in this case being negative, tells us that the distribution has a negative skew, and the kurtosis being above 3, and 3 being a kurtosis value for a normal distribution, indicates that the tails are too thin in this case.